Hi, I'm Nana and welcome to Team 5 Minutes show. It has taken us a while to get to where we are right now. But what is Team 5 Minutes? Team 5 Minutes is about motivation and empowerment. It started three years ago with one post. When your alarm goes off in the morning, you have a choice. You can hit the snooze button and hope for five minutes you will sleep and you will get up. Or you hit the snooze button and you get out of bed and start your day. For those of you who hit the snooze button, sleep for five minutes, it doesn't always happen to be the five minutes. And believe me, I know too well about that. Next thing you know, it could be an hour later, it could be two hours later, it could be half an hour later, and guess what? Your day has started without you. If you hit the button and you head off and you start your day, by the time you're coming out of the shower, you're feeling great, you're mentally prepared, and you're ready to go. That is who we are as Team 5 Minutes. We are the people who hit the snooze button and get out and go and chase the day. So, welcome to Team 5 Minutes and welcome to the Team 5 Minutes show. If there's one word in life that we hear a lot of, it's plan. Without a plan, there's no way forward. Without a plan, there's no action. So, how we are going to be starting off Team 5 Minutes show is all about plan. Come and join me as I put together my vision board and also inspire you to do the same. Start with planning, then with the action, then with the fulfillment. So now that I've got my vision board all carved out into four different sections, the most important thing is what are we actually going to put onto this vision board? Now take your time because this is actually going to be the catalyst of your whole vision, your whole movement, and also what it is that you want to move forward with. So I have got here family, I've got career, I've got love, and I have got self. So why am I doing this? Well, it's pretty simple. Every so often in life, I like to have a check-in with myself. I like to see that I've reached my goals. I'd like to see where I'm going. And this is the best way that I personally can express myself and get this done. It's something fun. And instead of having a diary or a checklist and you've got, you know, one year, three months, five years, all of that type of stuff, I have this here. Because it's a constant reminder of who I am and where I'm going. Now, the pillars that I've picked here are self, family, career, and love. Self, it's all about me. And it may sound selfish, but guess what? You have to be selfish. And for me, I cannot be there for anybody else if I can't even be there for myself. So it is important that I have made sure that I actually carve time out for myself. It's that me time. It's that quality time. It's that time when I need to refuel myself, my tank, to ensure that I'm okay, that I'm positioned in the best capable position to be able to be there for my kids, for my family, for my friends, for my work, for anything like that. And you know what, when people say it starts with you, it really does start with you. So it's not only about having spas and taking care of the outside, it's also the inside. What am I wanting to look like? What am I wanting to feel like? Am I leading a healthy lifestyle? Am I wanting to be exactly where I am right now? So that is what all of this is about here. Now family, family is very dear to me. And again, I've included it here because you've got to be able to find that balance. You know, you've got your home life and you've got your work life. You've got your personal life, you've got your public life uh, with that. So I have also incorporated family here because my family needs to grow and I need to be there to be the one to make that grow. And I'm talking about my nucleus type of family. I'm talking about my three boys and also again, my extended family and also my close friends who are family as well. It's important to have this because you can't always, once you've done the self, who are you filtering that out to? Who is benefiting from you being at your best capability in order with that? So I've got my family right here, and that is something, again, that is extremely important and one of my pillars. Career. Now, I've put career here because, of course, you've got to have aspirations. You've got to learn from when you came. Remember that first job? I remember that first job when I was at Benetton folding clothes and that has been a 15 year journey to where I am now. 
You've got to remember where you've come from in order to where you want to be. And when I put my pictures together for Korea, you know that saying, wherever you want to be in two years time, you've got to start planning for it now. And that is extremely important and why I've put it in here. I've got to start acting, I've got to start thinking, and I've got to start pushing. So whoever I want to be as a career-minded woman, I place it here and I'm able to look at it and it stays in my mind. You may look at it one time, but I guarantee you, you're looking at this every day, it starts becoming part of the norm. You'll start thinking it, you'll start believing it, and you'll start acting it. And the beauty about this vision board is that if your career kind of does change or anything on here does change, the beauty is that since we're sticking them on, you can really remove it and add something else or add something else on top. So within the next five years, this is actually going to be more of a 3D thick thing because you're adding things onto that. And lastly, love. Now, whatever stage you may be at, never neglect this. For me personally, I've put this in here because yes, maybe right now I may not have a partner. I did have a partner, I will have a partner, but am I really in the best position to welcome that? So what we normally do, and I also tended to remember that as well, in my past vision boards, I never included that. So guess what? If I don't include it, I'm not visioning it. If I'm not visioning it, I'm not actioning on it. If I'm not actioning on it, I'm ignoring it. And that is key. So I have put love in here because I am preparing myself to be the best person I can be for that other person who will be coming into my life. Now, it's not only about relationships because again, it's also the love and everything else that I may be following up with or I may be doing. It filters in on everything else. It filters in on myself, it filters in on my family, but mainly this is all about your personal challenges that you face and have you learned from them. So again, a lot of this is going to have a lot of past and those are going to be reminders of me to show that this is not what I want. And I will also have some in there of what it is that I want. So again, this is love and self-worth. So you'll be seeing a big sign over here, which is self-worth, because for me, that is exactly where I'm going with that. And once we have all of these, it's now just cutting them out. So I would definitely say you don't need to really just follow the lines and just do one picture, one picture like that. No, let's not do that. Let's try and be a little bit creative with it. So for instance, if you've got this over here, it's easier to put it on four pages like that. You can quickly cut through that, cut through that just to separate them. And then afterwards, let's just curve the edges. So there we go, like that. Because it's a picture we're trying to create, it's a collage. Go to town on it, have fun with it. I have my funky glitter pens right over here. And this is probably best to use at the end. Once you've been able to position how you want to have this. So for instance, if I'm putting it over here, I have it like this. You can also then have some wording. You can put some stuff like that. Let it dry, get a good glue. It is also clear, so you're not having glue drops or any other thing like that on it. Then afterwards, you can add a pop of color. Also again, if you wanted to, I've used the white background, but again, it also really works if you use a black one as well, because these colors really come out on it, either on the white or the black. And again, you can use these funky pens, which are the gold ones like that, that you just finish up with and write your different things on it. Consider it a piece of art. Good enough to be able to frame if you want to. With mine, I'm going to be framing mine. That is what I normally do every four years. Frame it and have it there. And also, with your pictures that you pick, don't pick the ones for right now. Pick the ones and section them off. Some for right now, some for a year's time, some for four years time. So when you're looking at this, it is the past, the present, and also the future. So let me get on with that. Let's go over to family, we are family. Add pictures of your family during a holiday that you went on. This is a nice little cute one here that I found. Again, for family, you've got here family, you've got prosperity, you've got house. You've got guilt, savings, windfall, equities, inheritance. That's another key thing that we really don't think about, that we really need to. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be here forever. Personally now that I've got children, am I saving for them? Am I being the right person I can and saving and putting things away for them? We also put over here, 12 ways to be a positive parent. This is key, especially during this time. 
You know, we're all now becoming teachers. Save, right? We're all diving into our savings now during this pandemic. So it's very key. We need to, you know, it's your nest egg. It's, it's your future. Planning is everything for your career. Where are you going? Where have you come? Retire. Some of you are going to be at your retirement stage or thinking about it. If you've got 10 years before you retire, start thinking about it now. Don't start thinking about it a year before. Over here with Korea, you've got to always have your piggy bank. Make sure you save some of your salary always. You've got somebody here on a bike. Why fitness is mandatory for a healthy lifestyle. Very key. I'm loving my new body, but you'll be seeing that soon and everything that comes with that. So that is a key thing there. I've got this one here. The Activist's Guide to Self-Care. Now I'm putting this in my love department. It's not gonna go really go into self because it's got how to undo the damage. Watch for the warning signs. As much as we feel like, oh, it's always that other person. Oh my gosh, that person is bad. If you really wanna be serious about it, you've got to look at yourself in the mirror. Got your glue over there. Now, careful with some of these glues, right? The first time I ever did it, my vision board, I kid you not, I went straight for the super glue. Get the right type of glue that'll work for you. Don't go for the heavy, heavy types that your fingers start sticking together and all of that. Now for the fun part. Just simple glitter pens. This is your little boost of color. Squiggly lines, it's dots like that. And take your time with it. This is not a race. This is not something that you're gonna just be like, okay, an hour, I'm done. Because like I said, this is your future. Do two to three days working on this so when you're actually finished with it, it's not saying that just took two hours and boom, let's go with it. No, this is your future five-year plan in vision form. So make sure you get it right. So there you have it. My vision board is now complete. So stick around as we go through the four different pillars and it's not only about me, because each of those pillars is something that we all can learn from and move forward. Bye for now.